Good morning, you guys. Welcome to Coffee Time. And this is your first time looking at our channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And this morning we are going to talk about should everyone carry a concealed weapon? Let's talk about it. So, should everyone can carry a, a concealed weapon? I say yes, because with the crime rate being so high today, I feel like everyone should be carrying a weapon, uh, women and men. Um, we have a lot of carjackings, a lot of um, home invasions. Um, just it's, the current crime rate is out of control now. So I just feel like we should, everyone should carry uh, concealed weapons to protect yourself and protect your family, or you could be saving someone else's life. So I feel like everyone should um, carry concealed weapons. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like weapons and against hurting other people. Mm -hmm. But in today's time, it's so bad out here that the people out here robbing and killing, and I mean, they don't just rob you no more. Used to be a time they'd rob you and let you go. Now, they'll shoot you first and, you know, ask questions later. They just kill people. Mm -hmm. um, it just happened to a young lady in, I think, the city was Baltimore. This young lady went out and worked hard, saved up her money, opened up her uh, beauty salon where she sold uh, hair and weave out of the beauty salon. Some guys came in. Uh, robbed her salon one time and, if, and she went and made a police report and told the police about it and told them that she feared for her life and she feared for her safety. Uh, a few weeks later, somebody came back in again, but this time they took her life. They uh, shot her in the head, robbed her, and, uh, took uh, 30 bundles of weave and a little money that she had. And also, it was people in the shop at the time. And this is what I'm saying, that people are so bold that they'll take your life over nothing, over chump change. Mm -hmm. People are so dirty that she already worked hard to start her own business, all that grind and all that sacrifice that her and her family made, fixing up her shop, trying to get her shop off the feet of a young lady. She was just 21 years old, already had the business mindset of starting her own business. And in some of these neighborhoods you start your business in, they won't let you have nothing. Nope. It's like the poor robbing the poor. It's like you do all this sacrificing just for somebody to come take your life. Mm -hmm. So I feel like everyone should have a concealed weapon or be armed with something, especially women. It's like for the last couple of years, for the last 10 years, it's been all a uh, full attack on women. All you hear in the news is women losing their life. Women, women, women. The men are killing the women at an alarming rate. You find the women burned up in the trunk of their cars. I mean, I know this story topic is kind of dark, but it's real. They, they, they find the women bodies in backyards and vacant houses. It's like it's all out of attack on women. So I tell my daughters and all the women I know that everybody, every woman should have a gun. You should have some type of weapon out here in the streets. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people don't want to hurt people, but you have to ask yourself, do I want to hurt them or am I going to become the next victim? Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's time that we fight back. Yeah. I mean, and men, we got to get involved and protect our women. Mm -hmm. You know, out in the streets, everybody taught to turn their head and mind their business. No, we got to get it back involved. We got to help women. They come to women's aid and they come to kids' aid. They're kidnapping little kids. They're doing everything. We got to arm up and protect ourselves. It's just, it's just point blank. That's just, just the way it is. Mm -hmm. It's time to arm ourselves. So I feel like we all should be armed. Yeah, but like I said, with, I feel like everybody should be carrying a concealed weapon. Um, you need to educate yourself on gun laws and gun safety. That was a big issue for me because by me being a parent, you know, I didn't, you don't want to carry a gun because you don't want to the gun to get in your, your child's hand and then harm they could you know possibly harm themselves or harm somebody else so that's i think that's the, the problem with a lot of women 
because the children is all mostly 90% of the time is with the mother. So you don't want to, you know, a lot of women don't want to put they, they self or they child's or somebody else's child um, in harm, harm's way. Now, a lot of people don't want to carry either because they don't, you know, a lot of people have shot their own self with their own gun. Yeah. You know, so you got to be really, really careful. That's why I said we, we have to educate ourselves on gun, gun safety and gun laws. And I have read in the article that they said 80, 80, 70 to 80 percent of women now is carrying guns. I mean, it's at these gun ranges and they are not playing. Yeah. Because they get tired of being carjacked, robbed, and fearing for their life. They've been raped. Everything. And, and everything. So every time we leave out this house, it's a poss- I mean, it's a possibility. We 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 going into a war zone when we leave up out our houses in the morning. And when we come in get in out the car, it's dangerous. I knew a co worker that I worked with that she got carjacked in her own driveway and she was running around the car from the person. But it's so important, women, if that happened to you, you have to make some type of noise. You have to scream and you have to let people know that it's, it's danger out here and so someone can help you. You can't just be freeze up and frozen and don't say anything. We have to make some type of noise so people know that something is going on outside. And so it's so important. Like I said, every time we leave out our house in the morning or come get out our cars and come in the house, we are taking a big risk because we don't know who is lurking around our homes. Mm-hmm. You know, and then at these gas stations, it's so important to fill up your gas on Sunday. You know, you work in Monday through Friday, fill the gas up on Sunday. And it's a, it's a possibility your gas is going to last to Thursday or Friday. You know, all this, they, they carjacking people and, and killing people at these gas stations at an alarming rate. So it's so important for us women because they targeting the women, you know, at the grocery stores, the malls, the gas station. I mean, in your driveways. I, I know so many people that have gotten killed in the driveways over yep. the years. It's yep. so dangerous. Like I said, when we walk out that front door in the morning, it's at an alarming rate. We are walking into a war zone. You hate to think about life like that, but it's a reality. Mm-hmm. Once you step outside your door, they even coming in your house. Yes. Used to be a time when they wouldn't come in your house. Yeah. Used to be a time they wouldn't steal your car or carjack mm-hmm. you. Your car had to be parked in front of the house for them to steal your car. They wouldn't even come in your driveway and steal your car. Right. Now they don't they not only come in your driveway, they'll take you out the car. Right. And a lot of times you home, they want you to be home. Mm-hmm. So they used to wait till you leave. Now they want you to be home. So Crazy. the criminal has, has gotten bold. Yeah. Way too bold and they killing way too many good, hard working people. Mm-hmm. People out here working hard, sacrificing for their family. Struggling and saving only to be killed by a fool. Right. These guys are idiots, and um, I guess nobody taught them because they wouldn't want nobody to do nobody in their family like that. So why are you out here robbing people? Uh, sometime early, mo- early, in an early morning, they'd be out in the early morning. Right. You wouldn't think they'd be out five, six o'clock in the morning. They out there five, six o'clock in the morning. They set in their alarm clock to, go, to wake up and go rob people. Right. I mean, yep. it's crazy. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying. They get like like you were saying, the gas stations is a hot spot. You know, pick your gas stations. Try to keep going to the same gas station you always go yes. to. Mm-hmm. Go in an early time and the evening time before it get dark. Don't go yes. to a gas station after it's dark. Mm-hmm. You ask for trouble, you go to your gas station when it's dark. Mm-hmm. Go in the daytime. Don't put no ten dollars in your gas tank. Fill your gas tank all the way up so you won't have to go back. So you right. won't have to keep going back. Some people they go. They put $10 in their car, $5, $5 come on, yeah. just fill your tank up. Yeah. You know you're going to need this gas. Fill it all the way up so you won't have to keep running back and forth to the gas station. And to the criminals out there, you need to be shaming yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's terrible out here. I mean, a bunch of these stories, that's why I stopped watching the news. But the, a bunch of these stories are heartbreaking. It is. We all have kids and we nobody wants to see this happen to nobody. This, this should not be going on. Mm-hmm. Law enforcement needs to step their job up and start putting these criminals away and start solving these cases because they got so many uh, cases that's unsolved. Mm-hmm. And the people of the community, we need to start speaking up and yep. talking and telling on these fools that's doing the crime. Mm-hmm. And people be saying no snitch code. No, no, this is not snitching. This is protecting your neighborhood. You need yeah. to start telling on people that's committing the crimes in your neighborhood mm-hmm. because these people are doing, I mean, they're just doing everything. They're out of control. Mm-hmm. So... Drop that dime on them. Tell them because they got no business robbing people. The next day, be robbing somebody in your family and killing right. them. So we gotta get these people out of our neighborhood. This is not what people were supposed to be doing. Yes, you know. 
But like I said, the, the crime rate is so high here in all the states. It's high, crime rate is high. They are um, doing a lot of school shootings. You know what I'm saying? And so it's, it's really bad. And, and that's why I said even the teachers now, a lot of these teachers, they need to get up, teach them about gun laws and the gun safety and let these teachers carry in these schools because they could save a lot of a lot of lives too because there's a lot of shootings going on around the world at these schools they come in they taking out anywhere from 50 to a, a hundred or more people killing you know killing at these schools and stuff so the gun i, I just feel like the, i'm glad that they passed the gun law here in michigan and i just feel like everybody should take advantage of it like i said nobody don't want to kill nobody but if it, it's either they your life or their life yeah and um so we that's the time we're living in now and like, I, like I said, you you might be able to save somebody else. And like I said, I was watching on the the um, internet the other day. Um, a guy came into I think a cell phone place, and there was a man standing at the countertop talking to the cashier. And the guy came straight into in the cell phone place with the gun, getting ready to rob the place. And the guy that was talking to the cashier pulled his gun out because he was a, 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 a concealed carrier. He had a license. And he shot that man to death. He didn't want to do that, but he had to protect himself. So that's what I'm saying. It's really getting bad out here. You not we not safe nowhere. Yeah. Don't think that. And a lot of people say, you know, I don't need a gun because I live in a good neighborhood. No, the criminals is coming out in the good neighborhoods. Okay, you're not safe nowhere. Okay, we have to get educated, get smart out here because the police can't be everywhere. Okay, yeah. so we have to be the police. We got to protect our neighbors, our stuff, and, and, and fight back. We are living in a war zone out here. This is a war. Every time you leave your front door, you're walking into a war zone. Okay? So we have to protect ourselves. We got to get smart out here with this gun law and this gun safety. And like I said, a lot of people don't want to carry, but we have to. I mean, get you a comfortable gun that you can carry, and we have to be responsible. And get to them ranges and start shooting. Like I said, they say it's so many women, 80% of women now, are carriers because they're waking up yeah they're waking up a lot of women waking up to the fact mm -hmm. that this is what it is because like you say a lot of people don't want to look at the world like that like it's bad right but it is it's a lot of people out here doing a lot of bad mm -hmm. and it's like they're targeting women and yeah. kids so we have to protect ourselves what, what age i mean what age do you think you should start teaching your children I mean, that, I mean, you know, want them to carry. What age you think? Not, well, you know, they're not going to let them carry until they're 21, but start, well, it's, it's 21. start going okay. to the uh, gun range and uh, learning to protect their home by their home. Mm -hmm. I'd say about 14. Oh, they let them shoot at Yeah, they let them home? shoot, yeah. Yeah, I think you start letting them. Let I know them they shoot. do that over in my other country. Yeah, yeah, I see it over in the And then 10, 10, year, 10 nine years they shoot. old, they shooting over yeah. in the other country. I'm just saying, I don't know what's the law here for kids going okay. to the gun range, okay. but I, I feel like it should be at least 14. Mm -hmm. It should be young as 14 because I see on the internet a lot of people be teaching their kids to shoot right. outside and they be real young. Mm -hmm. So this is just a fact. This is just a fact. I mean, this the world, this is the world we live in. Mm -hmm. And like I said, like, like I, I asked that question because it was a, a young lady a few years ago. She had came home from school early. She was in middle school. She came home from school early. She did not let her parents know that she was came home from school early. She wasn't feeling well. And um, they stayed in a colonial style house, you know, with a, upstairs. And uh, she was upstairs in her bedroom, and she it was in the broad daylight. Okay, it's around one one o'clock in the, in the afternoon, and she heard some movement downstairs. And uh, she when she looked, she knew that you know it went her mom and dad. So somebody started coming upstairs. She looked around the corner. She seen it was uh, an intruder, and she went in her mother and father room and got that gun. And she ki she shot that person. She didn't kill him, but she shot him. Mm -hmm. And he ran out the house. They found him a few blocks over. Yeah. And he was passed out. Yeah, because she was in the closet. She had yeah. made the closet. She was hiding in the closet. Right. And she uh she got her father shotgun. Shot him in the closet. And she, I think she was like 13. 13 so years she old. To, she had to protect herself. That's what we got to do. We got to protect ourselves. Right. And your kids be home a lot. So we got to teach them self-defense at home. Yes. Gun safety. These killers, they're breaking your yep. house and they're not leaving people alive. No, they're they just not, not robbing. They're not. They're not. They're just not robbing people now. They're robbing yeah. and killing. Nope. So it's sad, but it. this is a fact. We got to protect our home. We got to mm -hmm. protect our children. We got to protect ourselves. Yes. So when you step outside your door or go on in your door, you got to have your defenses yes, up. Yes, you have to. Look around. Be aware of your surroundings. Yes. Don't be scared to look at look around and find out what people at coming up on you. Right. Look around. You know, you got to be watchful. 
and, and when you at these gas stations, when we at these gas stations, you know, you have to, when I'm at the gas station, what I do, I use my debit card. I feel like everybody should use your debit card. Don't get out that car going inside that gas station. Use your debit card. If you have a debit card, use your debit card, you know, and then let that gas pump itself. That's what I do. I let that gas pump itself. I get back in that car, and once it's done pumping, I get out that car, put it back on the thing, get in the car, take off. When I'm at the gas station, I'll be, I'll be watching my surroundings. I don't look at Facebook, Instagram, none of that, because they these people out here are so sneaky and they are quick they, they'll run up on you so fast mm. have your head spinning okay these people are not playing no games out here okay and they they, they carjacking people and like they they they, they want to kill somebody mm -hmm. it's easy just to say give me your car and people give you your car but they don't want they want to yeah. actually kill somebody i mean this is the world we live in these people ask 95 percent of people when they run up on them they give it up yeah, but they these, don't want these fools to still shoot you. They want to shoot somebody. Ninety five people. You pull a gun on them. They say, "Here you go, take it." They want to shoot. They still shoot people. They want to shoot. And then you rob people. People ain't got no money in their pocket. Yeah, what you think? People don't have money. It's sad. You run up, pull a gun on people for chump change. People got right. five dollars, ten dollars in their pocket. Yeah, you wasting your time. Mm -hmm. Get a job. Yep. Find something constructive to do with your life. You run mm -hmm. here, you ruining people's lives. Right. You ruining people's families. That little girl that was 21 that owned the beauty salon, she had a daughter. 21, starting up, uh, trying to start her own career, work for herself, and they go shoot her in the head like she nothing. Yep. Nothing. She had a baby herself. She just had a baby not too long ago. Grinding. We have to protect ourselves. We don't want to, but this is the world that we live in now. We forced ladies. To. We forced to. I mean, and another thing, ladies, also, when you out here at the mall, the gas station, the grocery store, don't stop and talk to nobody. No women or men. Cause they even even women. The women is doing stuff. They luring other women to to set up other women. So look, you ain't got you don't know these people. You don't have to explain nothing to none of these people. You don't got to have hold on no conversation because it's, if they get your attention. They got you. Yeah. Keep walking. Yeah. You don't have you don't know these people. You don't have to explain nothing. Don't feel bad. Don't feel like I'm being rude. No. Keep walking, because as soon as they get your attention, they got you. They got you, yep. You don't want nobody nothing. Okay? And then we ain't got no gun either. And we trying to hold a conversation on with a stranger out in the parking lot? No. Keep walking. I tell my girls all the time, keep walking. You don't have to explain, talk to nobody about nothing. Don't worry about being rude, because rude might being rude to somebody might save your life. Okay? Being nice out in the streets. Being nice out in the streets will cost you your life. Mm -hmm. A lot of people be too nice and too friendly, and they lose their life. Don't worry about that. Be a nice and caution. Right. Don't worry about people's feelings when you're out your, outside. I know that's right. You know, you worry about getting home. Mm -hmm. That's it. You wind up in their trunk. Yeah. You wind up in the trunk. Be a nice. Be a nice. Excuse me. Can you tell me how to get to Walmart? I'm not telling you nothing. I'm going to keep walking. Act like I can't hear you. Because I ain't got, I don't have nothing. So I ain't got time to be talking to you. This, so. This is this is the time we live in. This is the time we live in. Time off of that nice stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, talking to people and holding conversations. No, yep. get your stuff and keep it moving. Never again. It's, it's bad that it's like this, but you again. can't trust nobody. Mm -hmm. Sad. A lot of people that been carjacked, been robbed, they saying never again. They going to get guns. They saying never again. I would never let this happen to me again. I would never be robbed again. I would never be a victim again. I'm going to get me a gun and I'm going to protect myself. I'm a gun advocate. I mean, I'm all for it. Me too. I'm all for guns. I like guns. Matter of fact, I like guns. So not to hurt people, but I'm, I just like I just like looking at them. They're pretty the gun collector. Mm -hmm. But I but mean, it's just all right. It's yep. your God given right yep. to uh, own a gun. Protect yourself. Protect now yourself. it's like they leaving people no choice. Right. I mean, I know a few people that don't have a gun at home, and I'll be looking at them like, "What's wrong with you?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You it's crazy. <laughs> you tell you don't watch the news. No, because no, because the the po they thinking about nine one one. Nine one one. The police got they try to fight. They fighting crimes every second. Yeah. Okay, so you can't work. You can't think nine one one gonna help you. If you count on the police to save you, right? You, <laughs> they they want to save you, but they wrong. can't. It's too much crime going on every wrong. second. We nine times out of ten with crime going on, police are nowhere around. It's just a fact. A lot of people get violated and the police are nowhere around. Yep. You got to save yourself. You got to save yourself. And this world is, is about you. You got to save yourself. You got to give yourself a fighting mm -hmm. chance. Give yourself a fighting chance to keep living. Yes. To keep doing what you're doing. And, and, and the possibility you save somebody else's life. 
Or you might have to, yeah, you might have to be that vigilante to step up and say somebody else when you see something going on. Right. Don't turn your head and keep walking. If you see something strange going on, the least you can do is dial 911. Yeah. For a person. That's the least. Mm -hmm. You know, it don't hurt to pick up a phone and say, look, something strange going on over here. Y'all need to come check this out. Right. You know, get involved. Stop yeah. saying, I don't want to get involved. Yeah, get involved. Yeah, get if involved. you see something strange, uh, call the police. Yep. You know, look out for your neighbors. Neighbors got to look out for each other. Yep. So, you know, you look out for your block. Yeah. Some you do. strange activity on your block. Mm -hmm. You know, come on. It's time we all come together as a community and, and get back to networking and talking to each other, especially in your neighborhood. Yeah. And, uh, you know, looking out for one another. Yeah. Fight back. Yeah. It's time so, to fight back. Yep. You got to. You know, I'm sorry. We just, we can't just lay down and just give in. We got to fight back. Right. When it get tough, we got to get tougher. Yep. That's just how it's going down. So don't, 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 you know, don't wait till something happens. Go out there, like I said, educate yourself on gun safety, gun laws. Take advantage while they, in a lot of these states, they pass in a law for you to be a concealed carrier. Take advantage of it. Like I said, get you something that you are comfortable carrying. And, and you know, like I said, because you never, I mean, nobody don't want to be a victim, you know. So there's nothing wrong with carrying, you know. I think they pass in a lot of these laws because they know the police can't save everybody because it's every second there's something going on. So they said, you know, we passing this law, they the carriers might can help us. They could save somebody else's life, yeah, yeah, you know, and save their life. So, so you see, in Texas, it's been like that. In Texas, yeah, everybody yeah. in Texas got everybody, got, everybody, is everybody in Texas got pistols, yeah. and they and they uh, crime rate went down. It went down because now all the robbers know. Look, everybody's strapped, yeah. so yeah. we got we got to chill out. So hey, it's a good thing. You ask me. Yeah, it's a good thing. As long so as you, as long as you abide by the safety rules, and if you got children, but. Uh, or uh, protect the gun and put it up right. Yeah. Yeah, you got to protect your family. Yep. So today, y'all, this is uh, coffee time. And, you know, we had a light breakfast this morning. So we had bagels. I had bagels and fruit. Rodney had bagels and cheesy as he loved eggs. He loved eggs. And he got his coffee. And I got my coffee. You can't have coffee time without coffee. Yeah. But, um, you guys, we just wanted to educate you on uh, gun safety and gun laws. You know, read up on it. And just think about what we're saying, you know, and uh, we want you to have a wonderful Sunday uh, morning. And like I said, if this is your first time um, tuning into our channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. And we will see you guys for another coffee time. Yep. Have a wonderful Sunday. Yes. And hey, let's be safe out there. Yes. Be safe. Yes. We love y'all.